Tonight, a Richmond family shaken after learning their loved one died from sudden cardiac arrest. Now they're turning their loss into learning for lessons for others. And 8 News reporter Roland Wilson is joining us live in Richmond tonight with how exactly they're doing this. Roland, good evening. Yeah, Eric, tonight I spoke with Malika Williams, who lost her brother to sudden cardiac arrest. She tells me she's turning this tragic loss into a learning lesson, and she's hoping others will do the same. And he was the type of person, he'll give, he'll give his shirt off his back to anybody. So, I'm sorry. Malika Williams holding back tears tonight as she describes her brother, Antonio Ely, just weeks after his sudden death. They really don't know and they're, they're never going to know their dad. A father of five known to their family as the protector lost his life to sudden cardiac arrest after visiting this 7-Eleven on West Broad Street. I am told he entered the store around 2 in the morning on January 25th. Eight hours later, he was found unresponsive in his car in the parking lot by emergency crews. According to the CDC, 70 to 90 percent of people who experience sudden cardiac arrest don't survive. To reverse this trend, health professionals are calling on a culture of action to make a change. This includes raising awareness, debunking bystander myths, and educating people on the use of CPR and automated defibrillators. Williams says her loss has encouraged her to become better equipped, and she is encouraging others to do the same. I want to be able to help somebody, and I don't want the same thing to happen to my brother happen to someone else. Now, there are certain genetics that could be passed down from family members to increase your risk of a sudden cardiac arrest. That's why health professionals recommend getting screened so that you know your risk. Reporting live in Richmond tonight, Roland Wilson, 8 News.